Hey Booktube, how's it going? <clears throat> um, today, we are going to be going over Conan the Freebooter, which is book three in the Lancer Ace series. These were um, edited um, and somewhat rewritten by L. Sprague de Camp. Um, but the majority of these are um, Robert E. Actually, all of them are Robert E. Howard stories. <clears throat> um, this cover, um, this isn't the original cover of this book. This is a, a bitchin' Boris Vallejo painting. Um, the original one, the cover almost looks like a Tarzan cover to me. Um, Hmm. I was wondering if I was going to um, pop it up and show it to you, but <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to do that. Okay, so the um, stories in here are Hawks Over Shem, Black Colossus, Shadows in the Moonlight, The Road of Eagles, and A Witch Shall Be Born. Now... Um, right off the bat, the, I don't want to say the purpose because the purpose of these books were to make money, but the purpose of, um, Else Break the Camp, um, editing these books and putting them together <clears throat> were, um, to take Robert E. Howard's Conan character who just had random adventures, and that's actually what Robert E. Howard wanted from Conan, to just have this long life of random adventures that, like, an old, aged warrior just, like, tells stories of his exploits to friends around a campfire kind of thing. Um, but El Sprig de Camp tried to interconnect all the stories to make like some sort of timeline of events and <clears throat> that was kind of like the big push for me to get these editions because I am curious to see how he does it and at the beginning of each um, story well there's like a big ass introduction <clears throat> and then um so, and there's, like, artwork inside, which is cool. But, like, oh, this right here, this is what El Sprague de Camp puts together to introduce this story. So, the book before this, which I don't have, is called um, Conan of Samaria. And um, that has a bunch of stories in it. <clears throat> and what this does is take the last story from that book, which I don't know off the top of my head, and um, kind of puts him in place for Hawks Over Shem. The problem with this is that Hawks Over Shem was originally called Hawks Over Egypt and was not a Conan story. Um, it was just one of the many... Um, what would you classify those as? Um, Oriental stories that Howard wrote for Pulps. <clears throat> um, a lot of them he wrote and they were never accepted or whatnot. But um, this was Hawks Over Egypt. And what El Sprig de Camp did was just change the main character to Conan, change the setting from Egypt to Shem, and. Um, made everything else like Hyborian age-ish. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's a decent story. Um, it's okay. And The Road of Eagles is the same thing. This was another story <clears throat> that um, Elspring de Camp 
took from Howard's Oriental Tales and changed it to Conan. Um, and originally these were um, put out in the Gnome Press editions, um, but because El Sprig de Camp has like writing credit in there, um, they're in these as well. And he makes money off of it, or made money off of it, or his estate makes money off of it. I don't fucking know how this works. Um, the the Conan um, money making machine is very confusing. Like I don't understand who owns what and why they own it and who has what percentage of this and it's a mess. But if you're interested in um, reading the original Hawks Over Egypt or The Road of the Eagles, which I think has a different title, but I can't remember it. Anyway, there's a book called um, The Road to Azrael, which was put out in the late 70s, I think. And that has the original Robert E. Howard versions of those stories. And I believe some other ones because... Um, trying to remember what the other stories are that this happened to one was called the bloodstained god i believe but it could have got its name changed to something else um and then the other one oh man i can't remember what the original title is but it in, it ended up becoming the conan story the flame knife um so and I think the flame knife, that was actually an El Borak story. Um, so that's kind of interesting. <clears throat> but anyway, um, besides those two um, things, Black Colossus is um, classic. It's where um, this like queen princess chick is told to leave the castle or leave her palace and the first man she meets on the street she has to get him and make him the head of her army and that's the only way they'll win against this onslaught and obviously conan's the first guy she runs into and like this is one of those moments that is so to me, so Conan, like he walks in to the palace with this chick who he thinks he's just going to like hook up with. He doesn't know who she is. Um, and he's like, oh, there's food on a table and wine. So he like lays down kind of on a couch of some sort and kicks his feet up and starts like eating like turkey legs and grapes and drinking and wine while all of the like aristocrat people walk in and the head of um her military at the time who are like just soft men um see him and they're like what the f um and conan's just like whatevs i'm eating turkey legs bitches you know like he it's it's so funny like um i don't know why but like that shit just like cracks me up how i don't want to say aloof he is because he's not aloof he just doesn't give a shit and it's so um refreshing i guess um so anyway so that's uh great one um shadows in the moonlight is another awesome awesome one where um conan finds this chick olivia who's getting um about to get like murdered or raped by some dude like in a swamp and he kills the dude and then they take off on a boat they come up to this little island and they find like these ruins and something's like 
throwing boulders at them, and so they hide. Some pirates show up, some great shit, and then, like, giant statue monsters come to life and um, just, like, obliterate a ton of people. It's just, it's it, this is, like, fun, exciting shit, you know? Um, and then, finally, a witch shall be born, <clears throat> which cracks me up because... Like, A Witch Shall Be Born is, like, one of the most famous Conan tales. And it's the one with, like, the Tree of Woe, where they, like, nail him to a tree and leave him to die kind of thing. And it was, again, made famous in Conan the Barbarian with Arnie. And it's also, like, the beginning of Conan Exiles, the video game. So it's like, um, it's just like a very epic image that gets burned into your head. My problem is, is that a witch shall be born should never take place because the, like, the basis for the story... Okay, basically... These two twins were born, okay? And one of them had a mark of a witch on it. So they take that baby out into the desert and, like, leave it to die. And then, shocker, she doesn't die. And she comes back when her sister is now ruler of this kingdom and um, tries to take her place because nobody knows that she's this twin sister or whatever. <clears throat> so when she goes up to the chick, this is the beginning of the story. She's like, um, you know, like, you left me to die. And she's like, well, like, she doesn't say it like this. But, like, my thoughts are, well, I was a baby. Like, I didn't know. Like... I'm wanting to write a fanfic called um, A Misunderstanding Shall Be Resolved where, like, she comes up to her and she's like, yeah, you know, you left me to die. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't even know. Oh. Okay, well, see, I thought you knew about it. Well, how could I have known? I was as old as you were when it happened. Oh, that that's true. That's true. Well, I'm a witch. Well, I'm not very superstitious, and I don't believe in that shit. Oh, wow. Okay, well, shit, what do we do? Well, I mean, you're the rightful heir to the throne, as am I. I'll split my kingdom with you, and you could have half of it, and I'll keep half of it. And we could just live in wealth and harmony. Oh, wow, that's a great idea. I was going to come in here and actually put you into a dungeon and pretend I was you, and... Fuck, I had all these plans, and wow, this is a lot easier. I could have, maybe I should have just came up to you and asked you before I put all this. I mean, I, I spent years putting this plan together. I ended up sleeping with this horrible general of your army just so I could get him to, um, oh, the general might, yeah, well, we should put him to death because, uh, you know, we, he can't be trusted. That's true, he, yeah. Okay, yeah, well, that's good. Well, I'm glad that we're like, you know, why don't you come over later and we'll, you know, watch The Notebook and braid each other's hair or something, you know? It's like, the whole thing is so silly. Um, but it's like the thing that starts this great story. So it's like hard to knock it, but it's, it, <clears throat> out of all the Conan stories, all the Robert E. Howard Conan tales, like, I, I just have always felt that it's predicated on such a stupid premise, like, um, but I love the story, so it kind of, it's okay. Anyway, so that's Conan the Freebooter. Um, I don't know... And this is going to be, like, controversial. I don't know if I agree with the series of events. <clears throat> um, like, I feel like... 
they go kind of all over the map and the introductions in between that um El Sprig de Camp gives as to how he got here to there and blah 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 I think are kind of bullshit um so I don't know like these are good to read just to get like a different point of view but um and I'm not that well versed on every single line um to know like what the difference between the Howard version and the DeCamp edit of like Black Colossus is. <clears throat> I don't know those things. So um I'm hoping that I will get to the point where I could just like go, oh, that's a fuck up. Um if you want just to read the original Howard Conan unedited text um, Del Rey put out um, a three book collection. They're like kind of black books with like a little square in the bottom middle. One's called like The Coming of Conan. One's The um, Bloody Crown of Conan or The Bloody Sword. I don't know. You'll, you'll know them when you see them kind of thing. But um, those are the original texts and those have all of the stories, like, including, like, God in the Bowl, um, and shit like that, like, the fragment stories that El Sprig de Camp ended up making giant tales out of, and as we get further in this series, I'll let you know which stories those are. So, um, anyway, I guess that's it. Um, it's a good read, you know? It's fucking Conan. It's always a good read, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, um, until next time, everybody...